Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have my kitchen tour that you guys have been requesting forever. And in this kitchen tour, I'm gonna to be taking you in all the places that I haven't shown you how I organize yet. I basically broke my kitchen organization into parts. So I did spices and I also did my pantry organization in a separate video. So I will leave links to those videos down in the info box for you to check out after this video. I'm gonna start by showing you guys this little section, which is my coffee station, also where I have all of my uh, cups and things like that. So on top of the counter, I just have my Nespresso machine, which I love, and then I decided to keep all of my coffee pods in this clear container. And then next to that, I just have this really pretty tray from Home Goods, where I keep these two cups that you guys have seen a million times. I got them from Home Goods, And then I have my teas out displayed as well. I got really tired of having everything out on the counter, so I moved everything up into the cupboard. And this is what's in there right now. This, this is the sugar container, and then behind that I have my actual coffee maker for the stove if I ever wanna have regular coffee. And then next I have my straws, and behind that I have my tea bag organizer. On the second shelf, I have this really cool divider. I got it from the container store and I like it because it allows me to store both dishes and then nicer coffee cups on top of it. And it's just, it really maximizes the space. In the cupboard next to that is where I have all of my drinking glasses, my cups, my tea cup. It's probably my favorite cupboard because I have all of my limited edition Starbucks cups, which you guys know I collect those. And then I also have my regular drinking, my regular coffee cups and tea cups. To the left of that is where I keep all of my entertaining pieces. So anytime that I'm hosting or we're having like chips and things like that, I go into this cupboard. It has all of my cake essentials as well. Um, right below the oven, we have this little drawer, which is where I keep all of my baking stuff. Well, I should say most of my baking stuff because I have more of it in a separate section that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. So to the left of that, I have a lot more cabinet space and drawers. So I'm gonna take you guys through them. The first one is where I keep all of my Tupperware and a lot of it is being used right now so it looks a little bit bare but it's going to be like this all the time because we started meal prepping so um, I have these little pull out things. I got them from the container store and they are the best decision we've made in our kitchen. And then to one of the doors I just added one of these command hooks and I have my strainer on there because that's something that I grab on a daily basis and I didn't have to want to kneel over to get it every time. This is where I keep my uh, pots and pans and I have the same system going on as I do with my Tupperware. I have the pull-out organizers that I also got from the container store. You do have to drill these into your cabinets so that may or may not be a problem. And then on the second shelf I have all of my bigger pots so like my slow cooker, my uh, rice cooker. I don't really use those a lot so it's pretty easy for me to just keep them on there. Okay, so let's move on to the drawers and my utensils. So this drawer, I keep all of my mixing spoons, serving spoons, uh, well, you guys can see it. And then I have this bamboo organizer that I got from the container store. It's a modular organizer, so you can buy all the pieces individually and customize it to your drawer. The drawer over is where I keep all of my spices, which I did do an entire video kind of taking you guys through how I organize those. This is where I have all of my silverware. This is not a modular organizer, it's just one wooden piece and I got it from the container store, but it matches all the other organizers. That's how I really like it. And this is my last utensil drawer. I, uh, I recently went through and got rid of a bunch of gadgets that I just didn't use. Like I had a lot of like those apple slicers and things like that. I don't even remember the last time I used them. So I just got rid of all of it and kept only the essentials and it just makes my life so much easier. Okay, so right above the drawers, I have more cabinets, and this is where I keep all of my plates and bowls, and, and then the cabinet next to that is where I keep all of my spices and cooking stuff. <laughs> I have these white metal shelves that I got from the container store that help me maximize the space in these cabinets. I can have my dishes stacked on top of each other without bringing them all the way up the cupboards. So now taking you guys on the other side of the kitchen, which is probably a view that you guys don't see a lot, um, it kind of opens up into the main living area. And this is where the dishwasher and the sink is. And underneath that, I'm gonna show you guys under my sink because this was a really tricky area for me to organize because we have this giant filtration system. On the side, I kept all of my essential sprays that I grab on a daily basis, like for my counter and stuff. I used this letter organizer for it. I got it at Target a long time ago and I wasn't using it. 
So I just drilled some holes in the back of my cabinet. I also added these U-shaped nails to the end of the organizer so that the bottles don't slide off. And then to the right of that, I added a Lazy Susan to the back. These are things that I don't reach for as often, so I just put them all the way in the back, but in order to be able to access them easily, I used a Lazy Susan. And then I put all the stuff that I use daily in the very front. And the cabinet next to that is where I'd keep all of my cutting boards and the rest of my baking pans. And I have this organizer that's specifically made for baking pans, but you can definitely use like a letter sorter in its place. But I just find that this one is perfect because it's tall enough and it's really, really sturdy. And then on the door, I hung up another command strip with my strainer because I wanted easy access to it. And on the very top shelf is where I keep this pretty little mixing bowl. So that is my entire kitchen tour. I hope you guys get some inspiration from it. I will have links to all the organizers that I showed you guys in this video down in the info box. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.